Hi, my beautiful cancers. Well, I was recording. Well, I mean, I, I pulled your cards. I thought I was recording. I wasn't recording. So I thought um, I just keep, I didn't want to start over again. Okay. So um, let me go through this. I feel there's someone here. You've got the Page of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Pentacles, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. Someone has doing been doing a lot of thinking about you, Cancer, okay? I feel like there is some sort of message that is coming your way. I feel like there's something very significant that has changed in this person's life that is kind of like um, prompted this person to reach out to you is the energy that I get here because... I get like some sort of big change here happening with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? It's a faded energy. It's a destined energy. You do have the Page of Wands here and you have the Fool card. I am picking up Earth Sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I get strong Scorpio, strong Sagittarius, Aries, uh, and Leo. I'm going to say I even have water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Air, okay? But we have all the energies here, but strong Scorpio, strong Sagittarius are the two uh, that are strong. Now, you have the full card and you also have the page of wands. I feel like there's something here about this person um, kind of reflecting and thinking here about reaching out to you. And I feel like I, I put these in the reverse. I feel like they're going to go for it here with this full card. It shows me here that I feel like there is uh, something that happened in the past, okay? Something significant has happened in this person's life that I feel is prompting this person to come towards you. And I get a couple things here, okay? I'm channeling a couple things. One, I feel like this could be somebody in the past who was a friend, could have been, you know, even an acquaintance, someone you worked with, or somebody that, um, you know, just never like went for it with you, okay? I feel like with this Ten of Swords energy, this could be somebody who, um, they may have had some sort of health scare, or they may have lost somebody in their life, okay? May have lost a loved one, and it's made them realize like life is too short type of energy. Now, the other situation that I get here, Cancer, because that's not going to resonate with everybody, is I feel like this is someone where it definitely shows there could have been an ending here between you and this person in the past. Some time has passed here with temperance. This is someone I feel wanting to reunite with you. Some of you, it's a reconciliation energy. Um, but I just definitely get this energy But that this person is um, feeling very curious about you. Okay, they're thinking about the past, they're thinking about, you know, whatever memories the two of you have shared together. I feel this person is kind of strategically coming towards you, wanting the romantic opportunity. I feel like this person is like going to go for it, it, you know, is what I'm feeling here. Because um, actually, I was about to clarify, and then I realized that uh, the camera wasn't on, but we have. Um, the Empress here, and we have the tower here on the bottom of the deck, okay? So this is what I'm saying. There's something I feel that's faded. It's almost like divine intervention, right? This can be divine intervention. Something has happened in this person's life that is kind of changing things here, all right? And you got the Ace of Wands, which is bringing the opportunity between you and this person. And look, here is the Queen of Cups, your energy. So some sort of big change in this person's life is bringing this person towards you is really what I'm getting. And then you have the Empress here on the bottom of the deck, which is talks about the birth of something new, some sort of new beginning here that is manifesting it. And, you know, you may be manifesting this cancer, but you're in this Empress energy, which is beautiful. So let's uh, start clarifying. I'm going to start with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this person's reflecting. I feel like they're reflecting about reaching out to you. Um, this is, I'm going to say this is someone who, um, they're a little bit slow. I feel like they think about things, you know, before they make a move type of energy. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, wow. 
Look at that. Four of Wands. That's what they're thinking about. They're thinking about the potential here with you, Cancer. Four of Wands energy, okay? I feel like they see stability. They see security with you, okay? This is my everything tied in a bow energy, abundant energy, okay? I feel like this person sees you as somebody. Remember, we just saw the Empress sees you as somebody they could in, they feel that they can invest with, right? On all levels. Let's see why the Page of Wands is here. Tell me more about this Page of Wands. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. Look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, they're optimistic here. This is showing me, this Page of Wands is showing me. The it, It's also somebody who has ideas, right? Somebody who ide has ideas, they want to um, act on those ideas, right? And look at the ideas here, the Ten of Pentacles. So they see, Cancer, that... Your relationship material here, they see you as somebody that they could have something long-term, long-lasting, okay? And like I said, something significant. I have also feel here, right, I always say the devil here, right? Something was removed from this person's life or something is being removed because timing is going to be different for everybody. Something is being removed from this person's life that maybe was negatively impacting this person and that's why they haven't come for forward sooner. Like I said, maybe it took a life scare or losing a loved one or, you know, you know, God forbid, right? But it happens, right? Maybe a health scare. Maybe, you know, they lost you, okay? Or they're losing you, right? There was, it could have been an ending. But this person, I feel, is definitely thinking about what the potential is with you, Cancer. Tell me more about this Fool card. Tell me more about this Fool card. Mm, look at that. Three of Swords. This person has been going through some sort of loss or, they, or they've had some sort of past hurt, like I said. They may have experienced some sort of loss or some sort of grief in their life. Now is making them go for it. And that's that's the energy I'm feeling here is that they have experienced some sort of heart ha heartache in their life. And that's what's making them realize the importance of you. I'm going to pull another card for that full card. Tell me more about this full card. Yeah. King of Cups. And I said it earlier, this is someone I feel on two levels. One, I feel this is someone intuitively, they're coming towards you. And the other energy I'm feeling here is that this is someone who does have on some level feelings for you. And, and I said that earlier. Okay. Yeah. Look at that page. Oh my gosh. Page of Swords and the Two of Cups. They're very curious here and they're being strategic about how they're coming towards you. And the Two of Cups there shows me they feel that very strong connection with you. Okay. And I feel like they're headed towards you here with the Six of Swords. Now, somebody, this could be someone at a distance. I'm seeing an Emperor here too. We got Aries energy. But let's keep going. Tell me more about Temperance. Tell me more about Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Tell me more about Temperance. Nine of Wands. This is uh, somebody taking action after some time is what that is showing me. It's fearless action. Same thing here with the Fool. They may have had some fears in the past, but something significant has happened to now make this person take that risk that maybe they couldn't take in the past. Look at that. You got the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So after some a period of time, got another page, got a lot of pages here. Okay. This person is taking the step towards you. I'm seeing communication. Let's see why the death rebirth card is here. Tell me more about the death rebirth card. Tell me more Scorpio energy. Tell me more about this Scorpio energy. Yeah, look at that. King of Swords. King of Swords. This person's quite clear. They're quite clear about coming towards you is what I'm feeling here. This is someone I feel they 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 realize, okay, they're quite clear 
about these actions that they are taking towards you. Let's get another card here. Why is the King of, uh, why is the Death Rebirth card here? Okay, look at that. Page of Swords and the Two. Oh my God. Page of Swords and the Two of Cups showed up again. You know, I just said they're quite clear here, Cancer. They're quite clear about you. Um, I feel like this Page of Swords, they're really um, trying to find some sort of resolution here, okay, about how they're coming towards you because they feel a very strong connection. They see you as a partner. And bottom of the deck, we got Leo energy, we have the Sun card, okay? They see the potential here with you, Cancer. They see the potential with you. I feel like, I almost feel like um, this person is, definitely feel like this person is single or if they, you know, if you're feeling like you're connecting with someone who's not single, that is changing. I see an ending here with that Ten of Swords. That's the next card I'm going to go to is uh, the Ten of Swords energy. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Queen of Cups. There you are. And look at that. Bottom of the deck here we have the Four of Coins. So I said something's ending in this person's life or something happened, right? It definitely affected them emotionally. And I'm going to say here, right, um, this is your energy, but I also get a twofold message there is that this is someone who um, I feel like they have held back emotionally because of some sort of grief or loss. But I also feel like this is someone who doesn't want to let you go, okay? They're holding on tight here to you, Cancer. Someone who doesn't want to let you go, um, nine of cups, because I feel like you are their wish here, right? I mean, everything that it shows here, you know, I, it took something really big, I feel, to happen for this person to like, to kind of go for it is what I'm getting. I'm getting the chills too, so I feel like spirit is saying yeah that's kind of a confirmation there for me tell me more about the knight of cups tell me more actually let's go to the page of swords why is the page of swords here please i want to see uh you know what is this person trying to figure out two of pentacles so that's somebody who's getting their priorities in order yeah judgment okay so there's some things from the past that i feel like they're getting you know they're getting an order here too um i feel like too you know i said it earlier that i feel like uh this is someone that something significant happened in their life and it's really made them go back that's what judgment energy is it's really made them go back and look at the past and look at you know the things that they wish they they would have done, you know, life is short. I said that earlier that, you know, this person's really feeling like life is short. And now I feel like whatever happened, okay, or whatever is happening right now that is bringing this big significant change is making them realize, Cancer, I feel here that they want the opportunity with you. This is what they're trying to manifest with the magician energy. Let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Okay, Nine of Wands. And we also have here, yep, the Wheel of Fortune. So what that is showing me, Cancer, is that this is someone, you know, they've been through a lot there's something very significant that they've gone through or they're going through in their life but nonetheless they're not giving up okay so this is someone who's not giving up and i feel like this wheel okay they're removing i feel whatever the obstacle has been i feel like that's being removed here with the wheel so that they can have the opportunity with you here with the knight of cups wow cancer 
So there's somebody pretty significant coming around in your life. I'm just looking at that. Yeah, look at this. You got the two of wands here, the Hierophant. Could be a Taurus. We have King of Wands and we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, I feel this is something where they're making a decision to make a big change in their life. And, I, and, and it's kind of the energy that I see here. This person that's coming towards you, this is something they would not have done before because there was something blocking this person in the past. And that's part of the judgment here, okay? It's almost like, you know, not every situation is it going to be karma because like I said, some of you, it could have been, this person could have gone through some sort of health scare or lost a loved one. Um, but, you know, if this is someone you had an ending with, definitely could have been some sort of karma, karma, uh, karmic situation that this person went through, okay? And now they're taking action. I see this person, you know, more giving, reaching out. The um, Hierophant here, okay, really thinking about the potential of a relationship with you. I just saw Pisces energy here on the bottom of the deck. Wow, I just have to say, wow, Cancer. Let's see. Um, what the energy shows here this deck will have some timing we'll also uh have some yes no's and some letters oh my gosh some letters uh that i can give you as well look at this you're not gonna believe this look at this page of cups and we also have here the emperor we got aries energy and we also have here the king of coin there is someone coming towards you. The emperor energy is somebody who's ready. Okay, this is someone coming towards you uh, in a strong way. It's also a yes card. It's a major arcana card. We've got quite a few major arcanas. We have another yes card here with the page of cups. Okay, Cupid's arrow is getting ready to strike here. It's also um, fall timing, okay, which we're still in fall. Winter doesn't start until uh, the 21st. So I said that here, even though the Page of Pentacles is my month timing, this is somebody you could hear from as early as a week um, because fall goes through, what is it, uh, December 20th. The 21st is winter. Let's see what else comes out for you, Cancer. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What other messages do you have here for Cancer? So it's also, I'm feeling right something new okay it, it's this communication is starting something new and exciting okay look at that we have wow we had the ten of swords here and the ten of swords came out in reverse normally i have all my cards okay upright because i i like to read the cards upright um you know i can read reversals but i'm going to read this as a reversal uh card here because it came out that way for a reason this card in this deck is about lifting anguish. This person had to go through something pretty difficult and that is being released. And that's what's bringing this person towards you. And it's, it's, it's confirming the reading here, Cancer. I'm just amazed by your reading. You have the letters E and M here as well. Okay. Normally this would be a no card in the upright, but it's reversed. So it's a yes card. We got two yeses or three yeses. So Cancer, you may have a question about the situation and they're telling you um, it's a yes. This is also uh, talking about in the reverse a renewal. Okay. A new beginning. Okay, we have the three of wands, another yes card. Okay, letters uh, E, E or C may be important to you. Now, I'm also picking something up. Um, this talks about the potential of growth between you and this person. It also talks about, um, this is also interesting. Give me just a moment here, okay, because I'm getting myself confused a little bit here on the timing okay yeah this is this is spring timing i don't know why i got myself confused spring timing so something may have happened in the springtime 
okay? Or this person's birthday may be in the spring, but there's something around spring that is going to be a significance to you. It could be that the connection between you and this person in the springtime, which is not that far from here, um, you could see a lot of potential, a lot of growth with this person. Let's keep going. I don't know why I got myself all confused there, but I think because I'm feeling really excited about this reading, Cancer. <laughs> okay, yep, look at that. Look at that. I just said something significant, and here is the world card. Yeah, something significant's going to happen here. This is also a yes. You got y all yeses here, okay? I feel like, y you know, yes, this is going to be a good thing is the energy that I'm feeling. Um, this is also Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy. This talks about success, success around the corner, new beginnings, new cycles here. We do have on the bottom of the deck here, we do have a king of wands, another number, another yes here. Okay, this is someone who um, is dependable, reliable. Okay, this is someone who's ambitious and has goals. Okay, it definitely feels that way with the emperor too. That's like another confirmation about this person. Um Wow. Let's, uh, what do we want to do now? <laughs> I'm so excited, Cancer, about your reading. All right. Let's pull, um, I'm going to pull some Wisdom of the Oracle cards, and then I'll get uh, some cards of guidance. What other messages do you have for Cancer going forward? What does Cancer need to know? serendipity wow yeah i feel like cancer i see this as a very lucky card here okay i also see this as ascension okay something's transforming i feel like you're ascending here to a new level i feel like an old cycle is closing out um it can be between you and somebody here but it may be, you know, just in your love life in general. Maybe, um, you know, you haven't felt like things have gone the way that you want. But there's big change coming. I feel like that's what Spirit is trying to show you there with that serendipity card. You also have here deep knowing. This is a very intuitive card. So I feel like your intuition too is going to be very heightened. I feel with serendipity and deep knowing this can be an energy of you just um, you, like you feeling more connected um, is the energy that I get there. Let's see what else comes out for you, Cancer. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I can't make this up. Milk and honey. This is like, this is, this is happiness. This is a rainbow here, <laughs> right? This is um, beautiful. Milk and honey, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of good things coming um, in this connection. If you're open to it, right? Not Maybe not everybody will be. But I see definitely some sort of big change happening here, Cancer. And it's a faded energy, okay? Like I said, something happened. And I feel like this is more so in this person coming towards you's life. Now, it could be yours. I'm just going to say it could be either take the roles how they resonate. But the universe is bringing this opportunity to you, Cancer. Again, here is the Queen of Cups. I feel like it's an energy of, you know, good karma coming your way. Look at that. Knight of Swords. Okay, this is going to happen pretty quickly. Okay, and it's almost to this is an unstoppable energy I feel for you and this person to be united. Okay, to be united again or to come together. Um, and, and that's what I'm really feeling here, Cancer. Beautiful reading. I love your reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.